Hey, this is John Cressman with monkeyuncle.com and today we're continuing our platformer tutorial series. Today we will be going over vertical elevators. Our last episode handled horizontal elevators or moving platforms as they're sometimes called, but now we'll be handling vertical elevators. So if you've been following along, you seen should be where we're at right now. Uh, if you're just coming in, you can download these templates from monkeyuncle.com. Uh, if you are just finding this, you might want to go through the first uh, five and just to go through exactly what we have so you have the same thing that we do. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is to file, save as. We're going to save our platformer as platformer tutorial 006. Now we've already created the elevator actor. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the elevator actor. I want to add an image to it. Now we've already added the image for the planet. So our elevators have a slightly different look. Let's go ahead and change the size to 64 by 64, similar to the horizontal elevators. Again, we want this to tile, so we're going to go under graphics, horizontal wrap, tile, and just make sure that tile width is set to 64. Now while we're down here, we're also going to go into physics, we're going to change the density to 99999. And we're going to change the friction to zero and the bounciness to zero. And we're also going to click on fixed rotation. We're going to leave movable checked. And then we're going to create a few real attributes. So we're going to create three of them. And this is very similar to what we did for the horizontal elevator. Now here, instead of static Y, we're going to have a static X because we want to control the horizontal attribute so it doesn't move. We're also going to have a begin Y and an end Y. So the begin Y will be the lowest most point and the end Y will be the uppermost point. We're also going to create an integer we're going to call that speed. We're going to give that a value of 100. Again, you can change that depending on how quick you want your elevators to move. And now we're going to go in and add some behaviors. The first thing we're going to do is because we want it to stay in place horizontally, we're going to set static x to self position X so wherever it starts off that will be its a permanent X coordinate now to do that we're going to constrain elevator or self position X to self static X so we're setting it and now we're constraining it so forevermore it will be locked into this position X so it can only move up and down, it can't move left and right. And now we need to give it some speed. So we're going to use a change attribute and we're going to change elevator, motion, linear velocity, y, so up and down, and we're going to give it a value of self speed, that integer we created and we set to 100. So what this is going to do is it's going to send the platform up. And now we need to create some rules to keep it in bounds. So we're going to say when attribute self position y, so this is its coordinate vertically, is greater than self and y then we're going to reverse 
the speed or the direction. And we're going to do that by setting elevator, motion, linear velocity, y, same thing we just set up here. But this time we're going to set it to negative, because that's going to send it down, self speed. And now just to make things easier, we're going to Alt or Option, click and drag. It's going to duplicate the rule. So let's just name this rule too far up. And this will be too far down. So in this one, we're just going to change. This is, we're going to leave self position Y, but we're going to say when it's less than self begin Y. So it's gone too far down. Then we're going to set the linear velocity y to, instead of a negative, we're going to get rid of the negative and set it to a positive. And that's going to send the elevator back up. Let's file save. And now let's go to our scene. Let's go ahead and place the elevator. Remember, it's this vertical elevator. And we're going to leave this small. Now just like in the horizontal elevator, we have to set the coordinates. So this is going to be the topmost point where I want the elevator. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this, make that a little bit smaller. There we go. This will be the topmost coordinate or the end Y. So we're going to click on it. And we're going to see what its position is. Here's the Y position, 578. And we're going to come down here and make the end y 578. Again, this is very similar to what we did with the horizontal elevator. Let's go back. We're going to take this elevator. We're going to move it down. Right about there. Click on it again. And remember, this is the instance that we're editing. Now here's the new y coordinate, 318. That, begins our, that becomes our begin x. I mean, sorry, B and Y. 3.18. So there we have our begin and our end. Let's go back. And remember, it goes up first, so we can certainly leave it right there. I'm actually going to move this over slightly. There we go. And the file save. And now we can test it. So there's a little elevator. It's moving up. It hits the M, the top point. It reverses. Hits the bottom point. It reverses. And now let's try our little man. So I'm going to walk on. I'm on the elevator. I go up. And oh, I get a little bump there. But that's OK. As you can see, I'm riding. Now I'm going to jump on the elevator. And continue to jump and I can walk off the elevator I can walk back on the elevator walk off the elevator and there you have it we can come over here and we can jump on the vertical elevator I mean the horizontal elevator and the vertical elevator follows us now if you've been following along you can probably guess what we did and that is by default Go into scenes, scene, layers, and yep, you guessed it, it put it right here in the HUD. So let's go ahead and try it again. I'm going to walk over, and now it stays in place. And there you have a vertical elevator. You have a horizontal elevator. We have some dangers. We can die. We have some on-screen movement keys. We have our jump key, our right and our left. We have our lives displayed. So we're getting to a nice foundation. I mean, you could actually build a game with nothing but this. But there are still some extras that we want to add. For instance, we want to add some pickups. Probably want to add some enemies just to make it fun. So 
stay tuned in our series. I know this is a short episode, but I did want to break up the horizontal and the vertical into two different episodes just because sometimes people only need vertical or only need horizontal uh, elevators. So it makes it easier for them to find it on YouTube. All right, you guys have a great time. Remember, you can download the template and a ton of other templates on monkeyuncle.com. We'll see you next time.